All right. <clears throat> Forget Vicky Leaks. We've got John Raw Leaks with Steve's world famous brownies. Okay. Coffee is our. Um, we need about this much water in here. So that's like two espresso cups of um, real coffee. Don't use espresso. You can use espresso, but I use coffee. And we put that on the oven, on the stove. And we're going to mix that with melted butter because otherwise you will not be able to mix it. You must melt the butter. And how much are we going to use? We're going to use 375, what are they called? Grams. And there's probably something like that in pounds as well, but we're modern. Okay, so that's one and a half packages of butter, which 250 grams, I think that's a quarter pound. Okay, and thus, we're going to mix that with the coffee, hot, melted. But you can't see that, we can't show you everything because, uh, well, the camera's running. But first we got to cook the coffee. But while we're doing that, we're going to put in 400 milliliters of cacao, or cocoa, what they call in English. And 400 milliliters translates to about oh, one in, more than one and a half cups. Now there's people that say you should probably measure stuff, but we're not going to do that. Okay, 400 grams of no, milliliters of cow in there. Okay, now you use just a little bit more flour. You can mix it half white and half brown if you want to, but I usually just use whole wheat flour, full cornmeal, 500 milliliters. Now there's some people that put it through a sieve, but the um, that was back when we had bugs in our flour. We don't have those anymore. Okay, so 500 mil milliliters full cornmeal also in there. We're recording. Like so. And the next bit, we need um, one teaspoon of salt. Don't do too much. It's better to have a little less than too much. Do it over the garbage can. So. Do all this much. Can you see that? This much salt. And this is um, baking soda, natrium, what's, whatever it's called. Uh, baking powder works as well. But the recipe calls for baking soda. Natrium, that's got a big name. Everybody, everybody that's in the kitchen knows that. Okay, and these ingredients. Oh, the coffee's boiling, you hear that? We're going to mix that with the butter. Okay, can you see that? We're putting the butter and the coffee in a metal container and putting it on low heat. All right, we're going to mix this first. The uh, dry ingredients, mix them because the rest of it we're not going to mix it so well. A little bit should always go on the table. It's more important to mix this than it is the rest of the stuff. Okay. And we're going to put in six, six large eggs. Six. Now, this is a big batch, so don't be surprised if you have to share it a little bit. So, one big egg. And if your eggs are only medium size, then you've got to put seven. Two. Five. Do it. Three. Three. Quattro. Four. Fia. Obviously, you can make this more relaxed if you're doing it at home. You shouldn't try it on the street. Some people will take the umbilical cords out, but we haven't got time for that today. So, 
that's pretty well most of it. Now we're going to use white sugar, just a little bit, just about this much, which, <laughs> which is either two cups or 500 milliliters. Yes, that's a lot of sugar, but guess what? That's only half of it. Then we're going to use fair trade brown sugar. I mean, if you don't want to use fair trade, that's up to you. I usually don't, but today it was there. And look at that, a whole bloody package goes in there. Okay, now that's pretty well it except for the butter that's coming. In the meantime, while we're waiting for the butter, we'll put that up a bit. We'll prepare our pans. There are those, there are those who say brownies should go in a square pan. That I think is nonsense. Um, okay, we got our baking paper here. You need to have baking paper. And then I've cut, a, uh, drawn a line around here that's as big as this. Yeah, the top. Drawn a line here. Now I'm going to cut out two. I folded it over so I only have to cut once. You can cut twice if you feel like it. But it's always nice to save time if you have to make a million brownies. So you cut this out in a round circle. Are you getting that? Now we have two round circles. And then to save on your nerves, this is fairly important or the easy trick. Take this pan and put a little bit of water in it. And we're going to have to use two pans because it's a lot of brownies. Just a little bit of water, just to make it wet. And that saves on um, your paper sliding around when you start pouring in brownies. Okay. You see that? We got paper down on the bottom. And we need a couple seconds for the butter, so we'll go over it once again. 400 milliliters of cacao, 500 milliliters of full corn meal. Um, what do you say? English uh, full cornmeal is whole wheat flour. Um, two level teaspoons of baking soda. Baking powder would work as well. And one level teaspoon or a little less of salt. Mix that. And then throw in six eggs. And then white sugar on top of that. Um, 500 milliliters and brown sugar 500 milliliters and we're just about done you can take your time on this at home no hurry we just need a little bit for the butter In the background music, of course, is all genre original or with friends so that there's no um, question about who owns the rights to the film. And for in the oven, um, not too hot because it's going to take a long time. I put it in the oven at... Um, I use a gas oven so it's hard to say but I would guess they're about 150 or 160 and you have to bake it almost an hour that, that's the important part it's gonna look like it's finished it comes up and you think oh that's all right it's done but no you have to wait till it comes back down again and that takes an hour at slow heat and that's probably the trickiest part is be patient enough to let it in long enough of course if you let it in too long it's gonna burn but you pretty well need an hour Okay, we'll turn the oven on now. This, uh, the, the oven's over here. You can't see that now. Not important. You know what an oven looks like.
Okay, the oven's heating up. The butter is ready. Okay, the butter is liquid, and there's uh, two espresso cups worth of coffee in there. So, and now we mix that. And we're done. You see that? Mm. Now this is not good for anybody who has diabetes. have to be perfectly mixed. It's alright for a couple of lumps to be in there. They'll work themselves out. And then you put one blob. You have to measure perfectly. One blob. And then two blobs. Can you see that? It doesn't matter if one's bigger than the other, except that one will finish sooner than the other. Where to put the spoon? There it is. Okay, that's the story. At home, you can take as much time as you want, obviously. But if you're going to do a video, you got to do it quickly or people get bored. Okay, there it is. And now we're going in the oven. Can we switch that around? Yep, there's the oven. See it? There's the oven. And you take one pan, you put her in the oven. You take the other pan and put her in the oven. Close her up. And after half an hour, if you've got an old oven like I do, it's good to go, or probably almost even the new ones as well, go in there and switch the top one to the bottom rack and the rock, top, bottom rack to the top rack and then wait another half hour. All right, so that's it. That's your best brownie in the world. There might be some that are almost as good, so we're not going to say that we're better than everybody, but it will make a brownie that will knock your socks off. <laughs>